The period of time spanning from 1400 to 1600 is commonly referred to as the Renaissance. 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 How much French do you know? Renaissance literally translates as rebirth. It was a time of great innovation and discovery. Commerce got a huge jump start, as did a new group of people called the bourgeois class. Bourgeois. Bourgeois means of or relating to the middle class. Of course, nowadays, you'll commonly hear people use the phrase, that's so bougie, when referring to something expensive or extra. Side note, bougie means candle in French. Bougie. Anyway, the Renaissance took place in Europe and saw huge advancements in art, especially from four Italian boys named Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. No, not those four guys. These four guys. There were also huge advancements in architecture and sculpture, specifically in Florence. Ghiberti and Brunelleschi were responsible for some of the most enduring pieces of Renaissance art. Other Renaissance celebrities included Copernicus, Galileo, Christopher Columbus, and William Shakespeare. But the biggest game changer? Gutenberg's printing press. Gutenberg was a German blacksmith who created the first mechanical, movable type printing press. This invention made it possible to distribute music on a wide scale. The demand for music as entertainment and as an activity increased, and it became an essential part of civic, religious, and courtly life. Composers were allowed greater freedom to be influenced by art, classical mythology, and even astronomy and mathematics. They broke away from the church and began composing for patrons, people who would pay them to do their thing. One such patron, Catherine de' Medici, almost single-handedly brought about several musical and artistic changes during the Renaissance. And what are these changes, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Lines were drawn between the church and court or secular music. Church music was still continued to be centered around plain chant. One guy, Josquin Dupre, was considered to be a master of polyphonic vocal music, which, if you recall, is when many different lines of melody combine to make beautiful music, like this mass from Josquin. Think of this like pop music, but back in the 1400s. Secular music centered around love stories and heroic tales. Groups of people could sing a madrigal, a song with four to six different parts. So, sort of like a boy band, but without the fancy clothes and angsty looks. Less like this, and more like this. Technology in the Renaissance allowed for instruments to be more expressive and agile. Music moved away from the organ and moved toward the lute, the violin, the harpsichord, and the sackbut. Which is just an old trombone, but sackbut is way more fun to say. Sackbut. Another fun word is hurdy-gurdy, which is an instrument that looks and sounds like this. Dance music was heavily based off courtly dances of the time, like the pavane, allemande, and gigue. 